Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Friday the 14th of January 2022. I'm feeling groggy, I'm not sure I'm going to be up to much here today. I'm definitely not expecting to continue with a reasonably decent performance that I've had in the last couple of days because I'm just too tired. I've been working this morning, it's lunchtime and I'm really um, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to my swim later. Uh, but I've still got more work to do. I'm taking a break from work because I've been staring at the screen and using my brain for the last few hours. Um, and now what am I doing? Staring at the screen and using my brain. So I'm not sure it is a break really. But at least it's a different thing. At least, you know, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't do Sudoku professionally as work, right? So, <laughs> all right, let's have a look at this game and see what we can sort out, shall we? I see something. I see sixes blocking across here like that. And I see a six blocking down there like that. So I can put a six there. Oh, let's carry on with that six. Six blocking down, six blocking down there. We can fit a six there, can't we? I think six blocks up here. Let me just work this out. Six blocks up here, six blocks across this row. So that means six will be six will be in this square or this square. Do you agree? Okay, now six blocks across here, six blocks across here, and six blocks up there. So that must be a six there. I think that's it because we've got sixes left in these squares, right? Okay, so I can't do anything about that. Oh, five, five blocks across this row here, five blocks across this row here, so we can put a five right there, there on the stair. Hmm, get my chills some fives. Let's have a look around. Let's have a rummage through the grid. Bear with me for a second, will you? Um, but maybe just highlight the digits. Let's see what happens. So we got one, one down there, one across here, up there. We have one like that. Down here, we have too much info. No, too much to think about. Twos are like so, like so. I uh, don't know much else. Threes are blocking up here and across here, so threes have to be in those squares. Here we don't know. Uh, here, no, 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 not enough info. Four blocks across here, like the three. We don't have a vertical four, though, unfortunately. Uh, that's it, isn't it? That's the only four. Okay, we'll ignore you. Sorry for not enough use to us. Fives I already looked at, I think. I didn't see anything substantial. Sixes. Sixes I already looked at. Okay, I did. Sevens. I'm trying to save a bit of time here today. Sevens blocks down this column here. So it means seven must be in one of these two squares. One of these two squares. Here or here. Unfortunately, over here we've got three places. Here, no, no, no. Eights, eights blocking. Oh, ah, 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 ah. The eight and the three. Okay, the eight and the three. The eight and the three went out in a beautiful. Okay, eight and three go in these two squares. Now we know that eight and three are in those two squares. What does it tell us? Let's think about it. Uh, it tells us that four is in sorry four is in these squares because there's four blocking across. So we have a four blocking down there. Um, Let me 
it tells us very much else though, doesn't it? Hum. That's frustrating. Hmm. Um, what's missing from here? Okay, I know that four is in here. Seven, of course, must be here. Okay, so what else do we need? We need so we got four and seven sorted out. It's the two and nine. So the two can appear in you know, three squares, and the nine. Hmm. No, that's not good, is it? Nine can appear any of those squares anyway, so that's no use. Oh, so understanding that we have an 8 and a 3 there has been absolutely useless. But such is life. And you see where to look to be honest with you. Oh, top row. Okay, in the empty squares we shall place two five seven nine. 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 Hmm. The only thing that tells me is that this square is a two or a seven. So what? Big deal. That's why he asked. Uh, what's missing down here? We don't yet have a 3, a 4, a 7, a 9. A 3, 4, 7, 9. Uh, up in this block, we don't have a 2, 2 is in those squares, we don't have a 3, 3 is in these squares, we don't have a 4, which is also in those squares, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, what's the other number, 7, 7 is in these two squares. Over here we have a 1 like this, we have a 6 like this. We have 8s like this. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to put in candidates, pencil marks now, because I've got the way else to look, really, that's even reasonable. I just can't see enough, and as you know, candidates are my preferred method, so I'll go with that. Right, okay, let's see what we can do. So ones will be in these squares, these squares, uh, down that column there, to begin with. The twos will be 
Okay, two blocks across here and two blocks up here, so we can say two is in those squares. It will also, excuse me, be in this in this row somewhere. And that's that. They're threes. Oh, let's put in this eight and three here, shall we? Before I forget, because I'm liable to forget. I have a head like a sieve. Um, Okay, I don't really see anything else that I can do. The fours, uh, four I mentioned was here, right? Because we've got four blocking across there, as I mentioned previously. So we've got four down there now. Um, and that's it, isn't it? Uh, fives, um, five blocks up here. So five is a pair in those squares. Ah, ah, five is a pair here. Now six is a pair uh, along, where's six a pair? Six is a pair here and here. Okay, so we've got three numbers in three squares. I didn't see the five. I didn't mm, consider this five blocking up here, and so five limited to the top row. If I'd seen that, I'd have got this triple. I was, and I was looking for a triple here, and I just couldn't find it. I was thinking I'd got the ones and sixes, and I didn't get the fives. Such is life. Okay, what else do we know then? So that means this eight blocks this square, this eight blocks this square, and this eight blocks this square. So eight we can place immediately without further thought. Uh, the other missing numbers are, well, the seven blocks up here. So seven is going to be in those squares. I'm jumping the gun a little bit because I'm taking it out of order, but anyway. Uh, Otherwise, it's the 2 and the 9, but I don't think we know much else about the 2 and the 9 just yet, do we? Okay, anyway, I was hoping, hoping for a bit more there. Let's uh, let's get back to what I was doing. 1s are like so now. 2s, um, any changes on 2s? Two, two blocks up here, 2... No, the 3s... Uh, so I was doing these fives before I went off on a tangent. So five can appear in this column here. Um, and that, I think, is that. Sixes. Um, sixes must appear in one of these two squares here. Uh, one of these two there. And that's six accounted for everywhere. Sevens now. Then sevens will be a pair in those squares. Uh, seven blocks down here, so um, seven is going to be a pair there. Uh, seven will have to be a pair in these squares as well. And that's everything. The eights are... The, uh, no. Uh, eight blocks across this row and this row, so we can definitely say eights are up here there. And that's it. And then nines, nine blocks down this column, up this column, so nine is a pair there. And so even though I've got a triple now, which I thought might, um, you know, go give us great headwinds to um, push us towards the end of the game, actually it's not done that at all, really. Um, I just can't see much else happening here. Hum, 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 hum. Uh, right, so um, it could be one of those games where I need a gazillion candidates. Um, uh, no idea, but anyway, 
let's uh, start up here. So let's put into these squares the 2 and 9, which are still lacking in that block. Here we have 1. We don't have the 2 just yet. Two blocks up here, so we can say 2 has to appear there. The 3 blocks across there, so we allow ourselves to put 3s there. And 4s in exactly the same squares. Okay. And 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 are done. Back over here now, we have 1. We don't have our 2 yet. 2 blocks up here. And so 2 is possible in these squares. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 are done. 9 blocks here. So we can say 9 has to be somewhere along there. Now, is there any kind of pattern here that's going to save us? Yes, there is. We've got two, three, and four here. So in fact, we've got a single eight here. Okay, and they could have seen that, I suppose, if you'd noticed the eight down there. So this will have to be a three now then. And this cannot be a three any longer. Okay, and now that's also going to put a pair of threes into that square there. And it's going to put eights and eight into this square here. Eight blocking down here, up here, and across there. So that will be an 8 there. 8 now blocking across this row, across this row, and down here. We can place a pair of 8s here where our 1s are. So that means that that 9 is no longer true. Let's remove it. Let's put our 9 in here where it must go. Okay. Uh, the missing numbers here now are 3, 4, and 7. Any help on that? Yes, we've got a blocking 3 here and a blocking 3 here, so no 3s there. 3 must be in that square there. Uh, 7 is limited. 7 already blocks this square here, so 7 must be there, and 4 must be there, and 7 must be removed from that square there. So that's a big change, isn't it? Now we've only got two digits left in this block. The missing numbers are four and seven, I think. Is that right? Four and seven, yeah. Okay, and that's going to give us a pair of four and seven here, although I'm not sure that we're going to need it, but we'll remember it anyway down here. We'll try to remember it, but knowing my memory, we might not make it. <laughs> Right then, so that's uh, rather a lot of progress, I think. So, anyway, I was lucky to start in the right place there. Oh, now we've got a single two here, have we? Yeah, because two blocks up here, so that is a single two to place there, meaning these can't stand any longer. Two must be in that square. This is a single four, now nine goes here, nine goes here. This would be a two. We've got the 2 and the 9, so this must be a 7. Uh, and now 7 will be a pair in one of those two squares. This also will give us a 4 here. And in fact, uh, since this is either 4 or 7, we know that's got to be a 7. This would be our 4. Uh, 4s can be removed from there, giving us a pair of 2 and 3. So this must be a 7 then. And we have our 9 already, so this must be a 5. And that will put five somewhere into that column there. We have one digit missing from here. It's a nine. So we'll put the nine in there, and that will give us a pair of nines down there. And the last digit that we need to complete this column is a four. OK, so our pencil marks are doing us a power of good. Those people who refuse to use them, good luck to you, because I, <laughs> I would find it very difficult without 7 must be in this square here. This can be deleted. Um, we haven't got any completed digits yet, though. We've got a lot of, a lot done already. Uh, but nothing is quite finished yet. OK, so uh, what, where do we go? I think we should highlight digits again and just see, what's, see if anything else has uh, turned up since the last time we did that. Yeah, this 2 means this can't exist, and a 2 must be stuck there. And also is going to put two, a pair of 2s down there, I should say. Right. Let's keep at it.
our three blocks this square, so we can place a pair of threes uh, like so. Fours now, four has to be in one of these two squares up here, doesn't it? Because this four blocks that pair. Uh, any other eliminations on four? No, I don't think so. Fives then. Okay, sixes. Uh, sevens. Seven blocks down here, seven blocks down here. Seven blocks across here. That is a seven. This is a six. But we've got this three here, so that's a two. Now a three goes there. Uh, our three now will be limited to these two squares and this column. Um, okay, what to do, what to do. Nine blocks this square here, so there's going to be a pair of nines there. Three, nine, three, nine. Yeah, three, four, nine. Okay, yeah. All right, that's shaping up. Uh, we haven't got any completed digits yet, though. How about that? We're still looking for our first fully fledged digit. Graduated, maybe we should call it. Uh, so I'm going to go back and start again. Please don't get bored. Now, two blocks down here, two blocks across here, so the situation has changed. We can place a candidate two there. Four blocks down here, so we can limit a four to that column. Seven now, okay. The seven means this must be a four and this must be a seven because we've got all of our candidates in this block actually. Uh, our four means that that can no longer be a four. Oh, seven is complete. Seven is complete now. This can't be an eight. This eight blocks. Oh, sorry, we've got an eight here. I gotta get rid of both of those eights. My apologies. Um, that means eight is somewhere here only, right? Okay. Uh, and so we're looking at nines now. Then nine will be a pair there. And nine blocks down this column and across here. So nine will be a pair. Aha! Where are sixes are so we have a naked pair of six and nine there now so let's hope we hope we can uh, finish off with that information we have six and nine come on there must be something useful there surely oh really can't believe it okay Um, right, so in that case we have to complete, the, okay, so this is uh, complete, this complete, complete, complete over here. We are just looking for these two blocks here to put in the remaining digits. Okay, so let's do it. Uh, let's do the whole thing in one go, shall we? One fell swoop. We've got one blocking down here and that's it. So one can appear in these squares and all of these squares like so. Two is already placed. We can't do anything else. Three is placed here, but over here, not yet. Three blocks down here, three blocks across here. So three is available. Hold on, I placed a one there by mistake. Sorry, remembering that's a six and nine. My apologies. Uh, come back again, threes, sorry and threes. Okay. Uh, fours are placed here, not here yet, so four blocks down here. So four is available in those squares. 
uh, five now blocks down here. And we don't have any across horizontally, so five is possible in those squares. Uh, six is done already, right? Seven is done, eight is done, and finally nine is done. So we should now have our full complement of uh, um, candidates. Okay, so we got one, two, one, five, and one, two, five here. So we've got three numbers in three squares. It means that this square here cannot be one or five. It must indeed be uh, nine if I choose the correct thing to come here. And this is going to be a six. And our nine will go there. Let's get rid of candidate nine there before we make a silly mistake. Okay. Right. Now, has that done wonders for us? Not, not yet. Still got more to do. Hold on a second. What else do we need to do? Um, I'm going to have to highlight again. I'm sure, there must be some silly thing that I can remove now. Well, this has been a nice game today. It's made me think, even though I wasn't in the mood for thinking. Ah, uh, there we go. That can't be a six now. That has to be a five. Excuse me. Has to be a five. Uh, this has to be a one. And this has to be a six. And that, I guess, is the end of the game now. One blocks down here. So we get rid of all of those candidate ones and we place our one there. We get rid of the ones across here and we are left with a single five to place here. A one goes there. We get rid of these ones and we're left with a single four here. Uh, which means that four must be in this square. We can get that will place sorry a four up here. This must be a three, leaving us with a, no option but to put a nine there. We have a five here, so this will be a three. Um, what else? Uh, what's the, okay, let's get rid of the four there before I do anything daft. We've also got a three here already, so we know that's a five. In fact, two goes there. This has to be a one, put in a five in that square, three in that square. The one gives us an eight here, a one there. Uh, the eight now must be in this square here, and that will leave just a two to finish that row. Here we have a nine, so that's a three, and our nine will go there. Tough game, tough game. Uh, there's no way I could have done that without candidates, actually. Um, I probably should have started putting them in a bit earlier, um, but you know, on my recent uh, <laughs> trend of trying to take things as far as possible, um, I probably thought a bit too long about that before going ahead and placing pencil marks. But um, anyway, I enjoyed that game, it made me uh, think hard, and now I'm too tired to go swimming. Or, con or continue with my work without a nap. Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need a, a, a lunchtime nap before a lunchtime swim. Okay, that's it. Hope to be back later. Bye-bye.